Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm C Tech Dude. Thanks for joining me today. And today I may have to admit that I was mostly wrong about the Galaxy S10 fingerprint sensor. I've learned a lot of stuff since the last video I made, uh, kind of my rant video. And I'm here to share that with you and tell you what I did to mostly fix my issue. It's still not 100% perfect, but it's pretty dang close. So I want to let you know what's going on right now. Here we go. Now before we get started on the tips and tricks, I do want to tell you that after my last video where I was complaining about the fingerprint sensor, I did uh, set this phone aside and not use it for about four or five days because I was so frustrated. I went back to my Note 9 because it was rock solid and it worked every time. But then I decided to give this another shot after listening to some of your feedback. And I will say that it has improved uh, dramatically what I was getting beforehand. And so I appreciate all your guys' uh, tips and tricks. And now I want to share it back to you and kind of make a consolidated video so I can tell you what worked for me. And hopefully it'll work for you as well. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was basically uh, make the phone new again by factory resetting it. And then I went ahead and set up my fingerprint sensor as normal. And it seemed to, to pretty much work pretty well this time because I listened to your advice and used the meaty part of my finger and also pushed uh, pretty hard during the setup. But after I did that, I restored the data using the Samsung Smart Switch app, which uh, pops up at you and asks you to restore from your previous phone, which is what I did. But after I did that, it really messed up my fingerprint sensor. Um, again, I think that may have been my problem the last time when I was having so many issues, but it only worked like one in 10 or 15 times. And so what I did, I went back to the biometrics and security setting. And where I had my fingerprint added the first time from the first enrollment, I deleted that fingerprint by clicking on the fingerprint and clicking remove and then saying remove, confirming it there. I'm not gonna do that now, but, um, so I did that and then re-added the fingerprint. And I'll show you how I've been doing uh, the fingerprint setup. So what I do, I push hard and I lift straight back up and down. I don't move my finger much at all when I do this. And I have to push pretty hard during the setup especially. And I'm using the meaty fat part of my finger, which my whole thumb's fat, so kind of helps out but and then when it gets to this step what I do and you may not have to do this I rotate my finger down to like a 180 degree angle and do the same thing just lift straight up and down and then that adds it and after that I'll show you right now how, how much better it's working so I'm at the it's off right now so I'm gonna click it and there you go boom as, as compared to last time, guys, that's like night and day better. I'll show you one more time. So, boom, there it is. Perfect almost. And so what I'm doing now, I'm just pressing with the fat part of my thumb, and there you go. I'm not, last time I was hitting it pretty hard and pushing down really hard. I'm not doing that, that uh, as much. I'm just making sure I press pretty firmly on there. And there you go. It's, uh, <laughs> like I said, before night and day, it's night and day better, guys. And also, um, Last time you guys were telling me not to use my fingertip, which you can still do that, um, it just doesn't work as well. And so just make sure you use that fat part of your thumb, guys. So that's that's the first thing I did was I re-enrolled my fingerprint and that made a huge difference. But then what I also did, as you probably saw a second ago, back in the biometrics um, security, I, I added my fingerprint again. And this time, last time I did it um, kind of at a 90 degree angle, this time I did it at a like 135, I kind of tilted my finger a little bit like you would uh, like this and did the same thing. I pushed real hard and lifted it straight up and down and did it like this this time. That way if I'm holding it at a different angle, it still works. And we'll say that worked uh, pretty well. That worked, that combined with the, um, the initial fingerprint actually seemed to have fixed my issue. Uh, I still occasionally get the uh, press again or press harder prompt, but not nearly as much. And um, I think it may have just been, <laughs> maybe I just didn't know how to use it. Maybe you guys were right. But um, before it really, honestly, I, I tried a lot of different things and it didn't work. And it may have been because I did restore my data. That may not be true, but that's how I feel. So let me show you a couple more things that I did to help fix my issue. This one may not be needed, but I'm just going to let you know what worked for me. So what I did, I went into settings again and then went to advanced features and then motions and gestures. And I turned off lift to wake, and double tap to wake. And one of the reasons I did this is because I already have the always on display on all the time. 
which I show you how to do that. Um, so search for always on display and then click the first option that comes up. And then I turn mine to always show on. Uh, you don't have to do that, but like I said, I, did, I disabled lift to wake and the double tap to wake. Um, that may not be related to, to how my phone's working now, but I will say that it works. Let me show you one more time. Yeah, it's working like almost perfectly. Like I said, it doesn't always work the first time and I do have to try again sometimes, but it's night and day better than it was. And I, I'm really uh, starting to like this phone a whole lot more because of that. Now that it's now that it's working, maybe now that I know how to use it, um, I'm not I'm not too proud to say that I might have been using it wrong. Uh, so I appreciate your guys' feedback, and hopefully this video was helpful to you if you're having issues still. And as I find more things to show you um, about the the Galaxy S10, I'll be sure to share that with you if I think it's helpful. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If it was, make sure you. Uh, Give me a comment and a like. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. You just got CE Tech. See you next time. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.